The Sweet Umbrella Once upon a time, in a charming little village named Sugarville, there lived a young girl named Lily. She was known far and wide for her boundless curiosity and her love for all things sweet. Sugarville was a unique village where candy grew on trees, and the rain was made of sugar syrup. The villagers were skilled candy makers, and every house had a colorful garden of edible flowers. But the most cherished creation of all was the sweet umbrella, a magical and delicious invention. Lily's family had been crafting sweet umbrellas for generations, and they were considered the best in all of Sugarville. These umbrellas not only shielded you from the sugar rain but also had a distinct flavor. From caramel to chocolate to cotton candy. You could simply stick out your tongue and taste the sweet rain falling from the sky. One sunny morning, as Lily skipped through the candy gardens, she had an idea. She decided to create the most extraordinary sweet umbrella the village had ever seen. With determination, she gathered all the flavors and colors she could find, from strawberries to peppermint to blueberry, days turned into weeks, and Lily worked tirelessly on her creation. She experimented with new designs and combinations, adding a touch of whimsy to her umbrella. She believed that if she could make the most incredible sweet umbrella, it would bring joy to everyone in Sugarville. Finally, after much hard work, Lily unveiled her masterpiece. The sweet umbrella was a dazzling creation with layers of flavors and colors. It tasted like a rainbow melting in your mouth. She decided to call it the Sweet Symphony. Lily took her sweet umbrella to the town square, where the villagers gathered to witness this marvel. As she opened it, the entire village was spellbound by its beauty and its delicious taste. The sky seemed to shower an array of sweets, and the villagers danced in delight. The news of Lily's creation quickly spread throughout Sugarville and people from nearby villages came to see the legendary Sweet Symphony for themselves. It became a symbol of happiness and unity, but it wasn't just the candy umbrella that brought joy. Lily's creativity and hard work were an inspiration to everyone. She taught the children of Sugarville that they, too, could create magic and spread happiness with their talents. As the years went by, Lily continued to make extraordinary sweet umbrellas, each more incredible than the last. She shared her secret with the young candy makers, ensuring that the tradition of magical candy creations would live on. Sugarville became a place known not only for its delectable sweets but also for its community that shared a passion for making the world a little sweeter. And at the center of it all was Lily and her legendary Sweet Symphony. The news of the Sweet Symphony spread far and wide. It wasn't long before other villages decided to celebrate this magical creation with a grand parade. They invited Sugarville's residents to join them, showcasing their unique abilities and sharing their love for sweets. Lily was overjoyed by the invitation and couldn't resist the chance to share her sweet umbrellas with the world. She prepared her sweet symphony and, along with the entire village, embarked on a journey to the neighboring village of Candelandia. The parade was a spectacle like no other. Sugarville's float was a vibrant candy garden on wheels, with candy trees, chocolate rivers, and a rainbow made of sweets. At the front of the float, Lily proudly held her sweet symphony, the star of the show. The villagers of Sugarville entertained the crowd with candy sculptures, acrobatics, and colorful dances. 
The sweet aroma filled the air and children laughed with joy as they collected candies and watched the spectacle unfold. But the highlight of the parade was when Lily opened her sweet symphony. It unleashed a rain of sugary delights, as if a magical rainbow had appeared, making the children of Candelandia cheer with delight. It was a moment of pure magic uniting the two villages in their love for sweets. As the parade concluded, Lily received a heartwarming surprise. She met a young girl named Mia from Candelandia, who was mesmerized by Lily's creation. Mia was known for her own talent, creating intricate candy sculptures. The two girls quickly became friends. Mia's candy sculptures and Lily's sweet umbrellas complemented each other perfectly. They decided to combine their skills and create something truly extraordinary, a candy-themed amusement park. With the support of their villages, Mia and Lily built the amusement park, which they called Sweetsville. It featured candy rides, chocolate waterfalls, and, of course, the legendary Sweet Symphony. Sweetsville became a place of wonder, attracting visitors from all over. People marveled at the sweet creations and the friendship between the two villages. Mia and Lily proved that even in a world of sweets, the sweetest thing of all was friendship. The bond between Sugarville and Candelandia grew stronger and they shared their talents and creations with one another. Sweetsville became a symbol of unity, showcasing that when people come together, they can create something truly magical. <laughs>